By now, I'm sure there are thousands of review videos to cover the new e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. However, there is not one single first impression video from Leanna, who is 59 years old and does not like liquid foundation. Let's see if this affordable drugstore foundation will work on my mature skin. As we get older, our skin's needs change. We may need more hydration. We may need to reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, or pores, and still be able to achieve a natural look. And we do not need to break the bank in order to do that. Drugstore makeup products have come a long way, and e.l.f. has always been a pretty amazing brand. We'll be looking at the foundation's claims of medium buildable coverage, a satin finish, and long wear. Does it live up to the hype for mature skin? I have already done my skin care and put on my lotions and potions and serums and such. And normally, because I am a powder foundation girl, I use my skin care as my face primer. It works very well for me. But because we're going to be trying this out, I pulled out a plethora of e.l.f. products to use. So we're going to use the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer, which I believe I have only used once. I have used it because it has a blue dot. We're going to put this on and see how the foundation works over top of it. And I'm going to put it mainly in my T-zone because I do have quite a bit of pores in that area. And then I'll just spread that out. That feels really nice. I really like the putty primer and this feels just as good as that. I do like it. My lips were feeling a little dry so I grabbed my e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm. This is in Cheeky Cherry. It is a very nice, you can see it's very nice and pigmented. Very thick and rich, creamy feeling. I do not like the delivery system though. You have to kind of put it on your finger and rub it on your lips, but it is a nice product. Okay. My skin is feeling pretty good today. I'm excited to try this because I have seen a lot of mixed reviews on this. And like I said, I am not a liquid foundation girly, so I did pull out my e.l.f. brushes so that I could use those along with their foundation. I do not have a complexion brush, but I do have a powder blurring and an ultimate blending. So I'm going to use the ultimate blending brush. I also have my sponge. Normally I put foundation, liquid foundation on with the sponge, but I'm learning that I kind of like it with the brush, but I have the, the sponge just in case there are any issues with any streakiness. So there it is on my hand. I'm going to pat it out and then I'm going to take what's on my finger and just put it on my skin. I am also not a full coverage girl when it comes to liquid foundations. That is going on really nice. I do not see any polka dot pores. I hate when I get polka dot pores. So now I'm going to take what's left on the back of my hand and I'm going to really get it into my brush. 
Look at how pretty it looks on the back of my hand. You see I have loaded up my brush and I'm going to really work that into my brush. This is a tip from Wayne Goss. I watched him do this the other day. And it is really loaded into my brush and now I can really buff that into my skin. This is my first time trying that technique. And look at how pretty that is. Let's see. Let's pick up the rest of what's on the back of my hand. It really looks nice on the back of my hand. See how nice that looks? Mm. This does not feel heavy on my skin. Of course, I know I have put on a light application. And we'll put some more on the back of my hand. And we're going to, I'm just going to dip my brush right into it. And let's see if we can build this up. I did the first layer Wayne Goss's method and now we're just going to see what kind of coverage we can get that is looking really good y'all and like I said I'm not a liquid foundation girl. And another thing that I don't care for with liquid foundations is I always end up with a lot of it in my hair and it is not doing that. That looks really nice. Hmm. Of course we have to see how it wears. Pick up the rest of that and put it on the other side of my face. The other problem that I always have with a foundation is I always run it too far up under my eyes. And I have put this up under my eyes and it does not seem to be creasing. I already am not seeing a lot of creasing around my nose. I'm going to buff that in good. There around my... Those large pores that I have right there. Wow, that looks pretty good. What do you think? Let me turn my lights down. I think it did a good job of evening out my skin. It is not tacky at all, but it does give me a nice glow. Now again, I don't typically do a thick full coverage of foundation and this is medium it says medium buildable and I'm wondering should I add another coat I don't think I need to I think that that looks really good let's turn the light back on and then we will Put on the rest of my products and see how they do over top 
of the foundation. I'm going to take this e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder and I'm going to use this e.l.f. Powder Brush. This is what the powder looks like and I'm going to use that to set my face. Looking pretty good, y'all. The foundation does feel really nice on my skin. I do have a little bit of creasing right here around my nose. I don't know if that's because I waited too long. To set it. But as you see, I was able to buff that out. It's looking pretty good. Normally I have creasing here. I'm not feeling any creasing. It feels really good on my skin. Let's use some e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and I also have a Putty Blush. And I have my little e.l.f. Putty Bronzer brush because you have to have a tiny brush to get into that tiny container. So I'm going to get that on my brush. See if that disturbs that foundation at all. And now I'm going to take the brush that I used with the foundation and just use that to smooth that out because that little brush is just too small for all of that. There we go. This bronzer is a nice cream to powder formula and it changes to that powdery feel fairly quickly so it really should not disturb your foundation anyway. But I'm not seeing any disturbance. Everything is looking nice. Except for I think this bronzer is a little bit too warm for me but Let's put a little bit on my nose. And now we'll go into the Putty Blush. This is in the shade Tahiti. And it is a lovely shade of blush. I have a e.l.f. Putty Blush brush. This formula as well changes over to that powdery feel rather quickly. So I don't anticipate this disturbing the foundation either. So far I don't really feel like the foundation is oxidizing if it has, I'm not noticing it. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> but I don't feel like it is. I'm also going to put some of that just on the bridge of my nose. And then I'm just going to take that foundation brush and go back over those edges. And make sure that everything is blended really well. I had to dig way, way back in the archives, y'all, <laughs> to find this e.l.f. highlighter. This is in the shade White Gold. And I don't have an e.l.f. highlight brush. Do they have an e.l.f. highlight brush? I'm going to take this Farrah fluffy highlight brush. That's such a pretty soft... Highlight. I also pulled out some of my 
bite size shadows so that I could do a quick eye look. And talking about the archives, I pulled out this e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palette, which is one of the first little eyeshadow palettes that I got from e.l.f. I've had that for quite some time. So now, which one of these do I want to use? I'm gonna go into this rose water palette and I'm going to use this shade here in my transition area. Hopefully it'll show up. It's very light. It's a really pretty shade though. I think that I am going to go into this very bad and use the shade here on the end using that same brush. I'm going to put that on my outer lid and into my crease. Now I'm going to go back into the rose water palette and I'm going to pick up this shade here on my finger and put that on my lid. Same little brush and I'm going to go into the prism palette and pick up this really light shade here for the inner corner. I have the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. It has one of those rubberized brushes on it. And it has a blue dot. That means that I have used it. I don't remember whether I liked it or not. I have really been struggling lately with mascara because my eyes are so hooded and wrinkled and crinkled and droopy and all the things it's difficult to get mascara that actually is looking pretty good lip I have three elf lip liner pencils and they do not have shade names and they all say lip liner they're just lip liners I'm gonna go with this middle one and I'm just gonna do the lip liner I used to do this all the time so here's what my Complexion is looking like after I put on all of my products and sitting in these hot lights. So far, I think it looks really good. I don't see any creasing. It does not feel tacky. It feels really nice on the skin. I like it. For a girl that does not like, I do not like liquid foundations. But I am liking this one so far. I am doing a foundation challenge, kind of a foundation project. I have foundations. I normally do not reach for them, so I am going to be using all of them three times and keeping the ones that I can get to work for me and decluttering the ones I cannot. This is going to go in the very first rotation. So when I get to that video, I will do or talk more about um, a wear test because this is more a first impression. And the first impression so far is that I, I'm impressed and um, I will either come back 
later because I have some things that I have to do. It, this is not going to be a full wear test, but I, I will either come back later and let you see an update of how things are looking or I'll put something in the pinned comment. Like I said, I have some things to do. I have several videos that I need to record, so I'm going to be sitting here in these lights. They're already starting to get hot. I have the air conditioner kind of sort of turned down so that it, it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> so we'll see. But anyway, first impression so far, I am impressed. I think this is a nice product. ELF normally does well. Sometimes, like, you know, the eyeshadows, sometimes there are some problems. I had a hard time getting that to blend out, but they really do well for a drugstore product. And you don't have to spend a lot of money for high-end foundation for your mature skin. It went on really well. It was very, very easy to blend out. There was no streakiness. It went on phenomenally. I really like the packaging. I think that this is a nice size for this product. With this type of packaging, it makes it really nice for travel because you don't have to worry about a glass bottle getting broken. With one fluid ounce, you can go through this fairly quickly, I would think. And I mean, you cannot beat this for $8. If you have not seen my declutter video for my foundations and my challenge to myself, I will link that here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure that you showed that like button some love and subscribed if you have not already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Okay. Love you, bye.